Says, enough listening, start doing shit. Don't be scared. Like it's action, it's going, it's doing. Today I want to share with you my story. This is my story to the top. This is where it all started at, you guys. It's kind of unfortunate that it's raining today, but my first job in the automotive industry started right here. I mean, not like right here. I'm talking more so like right here. I called myself the lot bitch because all I did was pick up cigarette butts and trash and occasionally see those little yellow lines right there. I would paint those, but outside of that, that was my duty. Right outside, right here, this is where it all started at. And at this point, I was making minimum wage, but money really didn't matter then. The only thing I was paying for was a car insurance, my car, and a little bit of gas. That's what it paid for, just enough for me to get to the weekend at this point. I knew that this was gonna build into something a lot more than what it was right now. I really honestly think that the reason why I got a promotion from the lot to detail was just because I was cheap, good help. I didn't get a salary raise, there was no more money, and quite frankly, and really I was working a lot harder than what I did on the lot because I was detailing cars for six or seven hours a day. I remember what I used to do. I used to come into work, I used to turn on my radio, and I used to just bust out cars. Like I would just clean like crazy. It's kind of like I can kind of clean a car today. Really, the meat and the bones, they happen next. Two years, two years. It took two years to get from the lot to detail to service advisor. I had finally made it. I finally made it to a position that I wasn't scrubbing cars all day long. I wasn't picking up cigarette butts. And that's where everything kind of set in. I was like, hey, we're progressing a little bit. Like I'm getting a little bit further. I'm nipping it away a little bit further to get to where I want to go. The biggest difference with this job versus the other job is I was interacting with people. I was interacting with technicians and I was interacting with, with customers and technicians, both at the same exact time. It's insane. So basically what I would do is, is the technician would diagnose the car for the problem. They'd say, hey, car needs a water pump. And then I would come right over here, but sit beside my customer and I would explain to them what the problem was and how much it was to fix it. And basically try to sell them or try to get them to purchase the service. So a little bit of a difficult, little big, 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 big transition, right? Cause I've never really talked to anybody before. I, I mean, I was definitely an extrovert. So in that sense, like I had that going for me, but I had never really talked to a customer before prior to being a service advisor. Probably, not probably, definitely was the biggest game changer in my whole career. Without this job, without me interacting with these people, I definitely would not be where I was today because this job was tough. Really the backbone of my whole career started right here as a service advisor. They call the back end of the dealership service parts. They call the front end of the dealership sales. So the front end of the dealership is sales. Guess what? Another two years later, I finally made it to sales. I was ready for this. I was excited. I was ready to be a salesman. That's what I wanted to be, right? That was my next step. Two years later, I made it. I'm not even gonna lie to you. Like I really, really, really struggled being a salesman when I first got into it. I was very self-conscious because I didn't have a high school education. Every single customer that I talked to, it seemed like the very first question they would ask me would be like, hey, Cody, what college did you go to? Didn't. Didn't even finish high school. I was so self-conscious over this, guys. Like, oh, gosh. It got to the point to where I wouldn't even talk to customers. I was costing myself money. I was costing myself the progression in my career because I was scared to talk to customers because I thought that they were judging me. Talk about a long road. I, I struggled with this for so long, you, like, you don't even know. I struggled with this for at least a solid two, three, four years before I got comfortable enough and confident enough that the education thing didn't bother me anymore. So I would literally, like I said, I would avoid customers. I would bounce out of deals. I'd hide from customers because I was scared that they were judging me. When in reality, I should have just been really that much more confident about it because I knew that this is what I wanted to do um, and not let it be a weakness and turn it into a positive. Hindsight 2020, I probably took my career and backtracked it a little bit just by being a little bit self-conscious over that whole thing. See this? 
This is not the exact room from whenever I was a internet sales manager, but it looks pretty close. White walls, desk. There was only a couple things in the room that I worked in. There was a phone and there was a computer and that's it. So I would just call people all day long, just calling people, emailing people, trying to get them to come in to buy a car from us. And it was my first experience as a manager. So the internet sales department, like whether we did good or whether we did bad, it was all representation of of what I thought was myself, which it was my first time dealing with employees, it was first time dealing with other management, and that was kind of like the stepping stone into the sales management position, but I learned a lot, but it was really kind of similar to being a salesperson to where I was just this all day long, like just, just calling, 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 no, 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 no. I heard the word no a lot, and that's kind of what set me up for the next job. We're making progress here. We're making progress here. You see where I, you see where we're going with all this? I don't even know how long it was. I was an internet sales manager. Then I finally got the gates to open up and I got welcome to be the sales manager. I made it. This is exactly what I wanted. This is where I wanted to be. So I was being the new car and used car sales manager. Then I was also doing finance whenever the finance guy was out. So I was learning bank programs. I was learning how to submit deals, how to structure deals. All of the things that go on behind the desk that nobody sees, that's what I was learning. So huge, huge, huge for my career to get an opportunity to get there at pretty young age. Ultimately, the difference between a general sales manager and a new car sales manager really isn't a whole lot. I'm just, really, I'm just managing more people, if anything. Like, this whole department is now my baby versus, um, you know, just maybe a couple employees and all that stuff. So I've got finance underneath of me. I've got the sales staff underneath of me. And then I'm doing a lot more number crunching at the end of the month. So I forgot to turn the light off, so I gotta walk back now, dang it. So I guess kind of what I'm trying to say is, is that was my path, it didn't happen overnight. And I told you earlier, like I never did this for the money. Like I knew that the money would come and I've always lived like a pretty comfortable life, but I've never done it because I wanted more money. I just wanted to get to where I'm at right now. I've really struggled with this, you guys. I've struggled with what's next. There's only one position in this dealership hire, and that's the general manager. Who runs the whole thing? Who runs parts? Who runs service? Who runs sales? He does everything. And quite frankly, like now that I'm here, I'm kind of wanting to do something a little bit different. I kind of wanted to do this video today just to kind of self-reflect a little bit and be like, hey, this is everything that you've achieved. I mean, I didn't even talk about the awards and some of the great stuff that's happened and some of the awesome people that I've met. I met my best friends out of this industry. But now I'm kind of at a point where it's like, hey, you worked really, really, really hard for the last 13, 14 years to get to where you're at. And I still have this big question mark. Should I put a question mark? I still have a big question mark. And, and that is what's next? Like I'm, I'm not happy just settling, right? And now that I've kind of reached the top, monetary wise, again, money wise, it's good, but maybe it is taking a little bit of a pay cut and doing something different. I don't know. If you're new here, my name is Cody Reed. Obviously, I'm a general sales manager of a car dealership. As I started daily vlogging 20 days ago, this is my 20th video. So if you're new here, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button. We're going on this journey together. I don't know where I'm going yet. I've always known where I'm going, but I don't know this time. Hit the subscribe button, hit the like button. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Deuces, peace.